As shown in this artist's impression, Oumuamua is apparently very long and narrow, with an axis ratio of about 10 to 1. Assuming it's dark, this means it's about half a mile long. That's the power of one of these asteroids. 10,000 Hiroshima bombs is the power packed by this piece of real estate. I think if, if anyone would know about aliens on Earth, it would probably be me. In 2017, Oumuamua burst onto the cosmic scene as a truly bizarre interstellar visitor, defying our expectations of what celestial objects should look like. This cigar-shaped enigma raced through our solar system at an astonishing 320,000 kilometers per hour, raising questions of whether it might be more than just a natural space rock. Elon Musk, known for his bold ideas, suggested Oumuamua might hide clues about extraterrestrial life. Fast forward to today and Oumuamua is making a comeback, returning to our cosmic neighborhood. As it re-enters our radar, the intrigue deepens. Is it a fragment from a shattered alien world? Or did some unknown cosmic force launch it on this extraordinary journey? Let's figure out in this video. In 2017, scientists in Hawaii spotted an oddly shaped reddish object racing through space at an astonishing 40,000 kilometers per hour. They named it Oumuamua, which means scout or messenger in Hawaiian, as it seemed to be a cosmic envoy from the far reaches of our galaxy. Oumuamua's shape and behavior were nothing short of fascinating. Resembling a long, dimly lit cigar, it brought to mind Arthur C. Clarke's sci-fi novel Rendezvous with Rama, where astronauts discover and explore an extraterrestrial spacecraft. It also evoked memories of the mysterious monoliths from 2001, a space odyssey. This discovery triggered a worldwide frenzy among astronomers and even led the search for extraterrestrial intelligence, SETI Institute, to listen for possible alien radio signals. While it resembled asteroids that could potentially threaten Earth, Oumuamua's long, dark, and rapidly changing brightness set it apart. As it turns out, Oumuamua's color suggests it's similar to some icy moons in our outer solar system. These surfaces have been battered by cosmic radiation. There's even a hint of iron contributing to that color. The question of Oumuamua's origin and shape remains a puzzle. Some speculate it might have been hurled away from its home star in a supernova explosion or formed when two objects collided and stuck together. Initially, astronomers thought Oumuamua's journey pointed to Vega, a star in the constellation Lyra, which has a debris disk. However, recent trajectory changes have cast doubt on Vega being the source. Instead, Oumuamua might have been wandering through our galaxy for billions of years, encountering various star systems. This tiny traveler's epic journey reminds us of our profound cosmic connections. Elements like gold in wedding bands and oxygen in our blood were created in distant cosmic events, such as neutron star collisions and supernovae explosions. And meteorites from Mars may have brought life to Earth long ago. Considering Oumuamua's potential travel time of hundreds of thousands of years, it could have traversed thousands of star systems in our galaxy's 10 billion year history. Each encounter left its mark, mixing up the stars and planets in its path, further deepening our connection to the vast cosmos. What's interesting is that the universe might perhaps be quite a bit smaller than we've ever imagined. Even though Oumuamua has slipped beyond our current observation capabilities, the cosmos hasn't quite lost its trace. Elon Musk and a cohort of dedicated astronomers are keeping an eye on this celestial vagabond. Their predictions suggest that Oumuamua is slated to make a return visit to the vicinity of our solar system, an event expected to unfold in the coming years. According to their calculations, it should enter the Kuiper Belt in approximately 2024 and venture through its outermost boundary by late 2025. The grand finale is set for 2038 when it will pass by the Voyager probe's farthest point. Now, here's where it gets intriguing. Defining the boundary of our solar system is not as straightforward as it might seem. Depending on the criteria you use, Oumuamua's official crossing of this boundary can vary. While astronomers may not currently have the ability to track Oumuamua, they are diligently extracting as much knowledge as they can from the wealth of information gathered during its brief visit. It's a race against time, a race to understand this peculiar intergalactic guest. 
Initially, when Oumuamua, measuring about 2,600 feet, 790 meters in length and around 260 feet, 79 meters wide, was first spotted, it was categorized as an asteroid by casual observers. However, the object's behavior defied such a simple classification. Instead of following a trajectory solely dictated by gravitational forces, it exhibited a significant non-gravitational acceleration, suggesting the involvement of additional mysterious forces. Astronomer Karen Meech and her team conducted a comprehensive investigation into potential causes for this acceleration, dismissing some theories due to implausibility or inconsistencies in observed effects. Ultimately, they settled on a fascinating explanation, comet outgassing. This is a phenomenon common in comets when they draw near to the sun and heat up, causing surface ices to transform directly from a solid to a gas, a process known as sublimation. The resulting gas exerts pressure, altering the object's speed and rotation. Oumuamua's behavior, notably its acceleration, resembled that of comets undergoing outgassing. What puzzled astronomers was the absence of visible dust departing from the object, something typically observed with comets as gas and dust are released. Adding to the mystery, Oumuamua displayed unique thermal characteristics in infrared observations. Surprisingly, using the Spitzer Space Telescope, astronomers failed to detect any thermal emissions, implying that it might be brighter than initially anticipated or possess thermal properties distinct from known comets. Moreover, Oumuamua exhibited a higher reflectivity than the standard cometary values, challenging the notion that it was a typical cometary body. In addition, no carbon monoxide or carbon dioxide outgassing was detected in infrared studies. Given these peculiarities, Oumuamua begins to appear more like a visitor from another solar system, where such characteristics may not be as unusual. Its trajectory, meticulously retraced by Corin Baylor Jones, indicated it came within 1 to 2 Oort cloud radii, 100,000 to 200,000 astronomical units of our Sun. However, the encounter velocities of the four potential star systems Oumuamua passed close to were relatively high, raising questions about its origin. While the high ejection velocities might seem atypical for a planetesimal ejected during the formation of planets, there's a more intriguing possibility. If Oumuamua originated in a binary star system, these high velocities would be more plausible. Nevertheless, none of the four potential star systems were known to be binaries. In just a few years, it would be truly remarkable to revisit this extraordinary story. Oumuamua, the first and so far only extraterrestrial visitor we've observed zipping through our solar system, remains a tantalizing enigma. Despite the scarcity of data, experts from around the world are captivated by the secrets it might hold. This celestial wanderer is undeniably fascinating, largely owing to its peculiar characteristics, some of which have sparked debates about its origin. Some have even ventured to suggest that Oumuamua might be the product of an advanced extraterrestrial civilization, a notion that continues to intrigue and divide the scientific community. A draft article authored by a Harvard scientist and a Pentagon official responsible for UFO investigations has floated an intriguing possibility. They propose the idea that an extraterrestrial mothership could be lurking in the vicinity of our solar system, dispatching tiny probes known as dandelion seeds to explore the planets within. These seeds would collect data and potentially return it, much like our own spacecraft sent to explore distant worlds. The document came to light thanks to Sean M. Kirkpatrick, director of the Pentagon's All-Domain Anomaly Resolution Office, AARO, established in 2022 to investigate unidentified anomalous phenomena. Working in collaboration with Avi Loeb, an astronomer at Harvard University, the study speculates on the existence of this mothership, postulating that it might deploy these microscopic probes to study our solar system discreetly. These dandelion seed probes, given their diminutive size and potential stealth capabilities, could potentially enter Earth's atmosphere without detection and follow their programmed objectives once they land. The scientists suggest that the probes could use advanced technology, such as a parachute-like mechanism to decelerate and control their descent, preventing them from burning up upon re-entry. 
One of the key questions posed by these researchers is which celestial bodies these hypothetical alien probes might target. The rocky planets in our solar system with atmospheres such as Venus, Earth, and Mars would be of great interest to extraterrestrial scientists. Earth, in particular, would be a prime candidate for study, given its potential for harboring life. What's even more intriguing is that this mothership might not necessarily house the advanced extraterrestrial civilization responsible for creating these probes. Communication between the mothership and the probes would likely be logistically challenging. Instead, the probes might be dispatched on a one-way mission to gather data and transmit it back, akin to checking one's mailbox for accumulated packages over time, even if the senders are no longer present. It's worth noting that Avi Loeb, who co-authored this speculative study, previously came under scrutiny from the scientific community when he proposed that Oumuamua itself could be an alien spacecraft. Critics argued that the idea of interstellar travel was logistically impractical given the vast distances between stars. Nonetheless, interest in researching unexplained flying objects over American airspace has surged. The AARO has initiated more than 360 investigations into unidentified aerial phenomena, UAPs, as the Pentagon refers to UFOs, reported by U.S. military personnel. While some of these incidents have been attributed to balloons or similar objects, roughly half remain unexplained, lacking sufficient information for conclusive determination. In light of these developments, scientists like Elon Musk are optimistic that advanced telescopic surveys might detect additional extraterrestrial objects traversing our solar system. This could offer further opportunities to test and refine hypotheses, potentially unveiling new insights into the nature of our universe. This optimism is not unfounded, considering that, in just two decades, the discovery of exoplanets has blossomed from a few to over 4,500 confirmed celestial entities. In approximately a decade, we may have detailed statistics on the types of objects traversing our solar system, which could yield profound insights into other solar and star systems. That pretty much wraps this video up, guys. Thanks for watching. So what are your thoughts about these wild conspiracy theories regarding Oumuamua? Share with us in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe to this channel with a bell notification if you enjoy watching our content. We upload some awesome stuff here, which you will most certainly enjoy. Hit a like on this video and leave a comment below. See you guys in the next one.